Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel, Anaya and Alana. I'm Anaya. And I'm Alana. We are super excited to do this video. Like, we went to Walmart and got the shoes. It was only $14, and they're just pure white. Um, I'm, I'm so happy. We're so excited, we're so excited. I can't wait to pick these bad boys. Here's what we bought at Michael's. We got the acrylic paints with all the colors. We didn't need all this much, yeah. but we just wanted to have um, a little extra so we could like mix in to see which colors we like best. Or like for later, so we'll probably do something like this in the future. We have some paint palettes so that we can put on our paint and we can use it to mix them together. Over here we have the brushes. So there we have big brushes, small brushes, and sponges on the back. Lastly, we have Mod Podge, which it is, is a basically need. a sealer that you put after your painting so that you'll be able to have it glossy. So we're definitely going to put that after we're done painting our shoes. We just finished taking off the shoelaces. I'm not entirely sure of what color I'm going to be going with, but uh, I think I'm just going to go and see what color is best for me. Wait, I had an idea. What if I make a shoe based on, you know, Attack on Titan? How are you going to do that? So it's going to be like brown and then tan and maybe green. Actually, maybe green. that doesn't go with it. Anaya is working on her shoe, obviously, but I just finished, can you see? Yeah, right here, I just finished making Psyche's antennas. If you don't know who Psyche's from, he's from an anime called Psyche K, basically based off him, him. Oh, it's not focusing. There it goes. But there it is. I made it on both sides, so it's like opposites, and I'm going to color that in. I have to try and get the colors right, so I have these two colors. I'm going to try and mix them to see if they're going to... Well, first, let me see, because I think they might be sealed. If not... Oh, it's not. So, without further ado, I could get started, and I'm going to start by mixing them. guys but yes I chose Psyche as well because I don't have anything else on my mind so mm, I'm drawing his face right now yeah. and it's pretty hard Ooh, these colors aren't the but it's same. looking good but I can't go back now actually we can make a bright pink I think it's gonna look cute first before I start I'm going to get water I got the water I don't want it to be in you guys's way so I'm gonna put it like over there off camera okay I should have started with the highlight, so I'm gonna do that. His hair is so hard to draw. I'm having complications a little bit. I could barely show you guys painting this, but I painted his first antenna. Focus, focus, focus. There it is. Ah! <laughs> but I painted the first antenna. It I looks so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I still need to paint the white little glare that's gonna be like on top of um, the pink thingy. But yeah, then I'm all set. In the meantime, I think I'm going to be working on my other shoes antenna that we still have the Sharpie on. And yeah, Anaya is putting Sharpie all over her psyche while I'm already on my painting step, but that requires a lot more detail and delicacy. So. <gasps> yeah! Okay, that looks so good. Thank you. So, I'm not an artist, but I think I'm going to be now. Oh, that's so cute. I outlined him in everything. It was kind of that's hard so to draw cute. because of the space that I had. But that's, it turned out well. That's going to be a pain to... Uh, yeah. Paint. But we're gonna, after this is all dry, I think we're going to have to put it over with more Sharpie so that it can be more, you know, bold statement out there. This is the original, by the way. I think you're gonna need to turn on your, oh, never mind, it's good. That was the original. So that's what he looks like. So it's, I'm not far from it. I think the art was from Divine Art, I think. I'm not sure, but I think that's where I found it. On the other shoe, I'm gonna be working on making a coffee jelly which is a type of food it's like coffee but it's it's his jelly. favorite it's his favorite so it's basically what she said it's jelly but coffee flavored he loves it he absolutely loves it i actually really want to try it 
because it, it looks, looks good. good. Yeah. yeah, it looks good, but is it good? I feel like the pink side that I'm doing right here. So the pink part is kind of like the highlight. It's about to be dry, so then I'll be able to go in with the hot pink for the same part. And I'm just gonna fix it up a bit while filling it in at the same time. I finished with the hot pink. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. Notice how Alana's almost done. I know. I mean, it's kind of hard painting on a shoe, but it's not as difficult as I thought. It's just that drawing that makes it hard. Yeah. Whenever you're going over with pencil, it takes a lot of like, you need a lot of pressure because the shoe, the kind of texture is not like paper and paper is just easy to like, and then it's all good. But for the shoe, you gotta put a lot more pressure and I'm kind of scared to do that because I don't want to put on too much pressure to where whenever I mess up, I won't be able to erase it and it's just there. So, yeah, but other than that, I think we'll start by painting the shoe whenever this is, well actually the other one I bet it's dry. Let me check on it. Ooh, it's drying up. There's a lot of touch-ups that's gonna be needing this with Sharpie. The other side is done, I added hearts to it. But now I just have to get into the painting and I'm kind of scared. I don't want to mess it up. Like I did all this work and I really don't want to mess it up. Mood. I'm just going over the parts that I painted because I'm basically done painting with this inside. So I'm just going over it, making it look clean, chic, you know, whatever you call it. Let's see what brush I'm going to use. <laughs> we have a lot of brushes and I think I kind of, you know, messed up some. This one is a good one. Cause I know I wasn't going to finish it all. This is the color palette. I put a lot of pink. I don't know why I put that much. <laughs> Guys, okay. As far as right now, I'm gonna be decorating the rim right here. And that's gonna be pink. What are you decorating again? So like right here, oh, like that all the way part. over here. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's yeah, really it's long. So. I just started painting this first. Plans have changed, I'm gonna do Psyche. I had to take the smallest brush that we have here, so I don't wanna mess anything up. And if I do, I'm gonna have to restart, and that's gonna suck. Now that I'm finished with repainting the second coat, which is drying quite quickly, it's time to do the rim. You know, this part right, this part right here, and I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna put it in turquoise. I think, what color are you doing? Uh, I'm doing blue. Wait, no. Blue. Wait, which room are you talking about? This one. Yeah, pink. I'm doing turquoise. It'll be so cute. I'm so excited. Uh, I finally found the right color. It's not perfect. So what she did was mix it with blue and white to get that right light tone. And green. Oh, that's a lot of brown. See, I do that's too not, much of everything. Well, it is most likely a lot. Because I know I'm not going to need it. Like, why am I doing this much? This is definitely taking us forever. I don't know why. It must be because of the drying, but I don't think it'd take this long. Um, I thought it'd be, like, something quick. Like, we just get it done. We draw it, we paint it, and then, like, we're done, kind of, sort of thing. Yeah, it took longer than anticipated. It's already taking, I think, are we? We're about an hour. So the last time we painted something, we didn't paint it this advanced. It was basically some simple picture yeah. or like it was a lot bigger. So what we're doing right now, it's harder because of the little details and everything and the shades. You know, I never imagined us actually painting a shoe. Seriously. I always wanted to do it, to be honest. I always want to like customize my own shoe, wear it out, make it look flashy, but I never expected to actually do it. But now we're taking you along with that journey. <sighs> It's hard. That's what I'm gonna say, it's hard. Okay, let's look it up. Well, you could just use a Snow White because it's basically the same color. This is a thing that you have to be focused to do. I don't know how people do it so perfectly. And you have to be so delicate with everything, like a little thing goes a long way. I'm trying to have it go the same way 
if it's going this way, I want everything to go that way too. Well, if we wanted to add any more designs to our shoe, we could at any moment. I mean, if we wanted to add like another drawing or something like on the front or on the back or on the sides, we could do that. Done. Oh, wow. Yeah. It looks really good of... already. Thank you. But yeah, we're done with this. It still needs drying. So does the other one. It's just gonna take forever. Then we gotta paint over a second coat. And if that's not good enough, we gotta go over with the third one. Alana stepped out to eat, but as you can see, my rim is pink right now. I find the easiest way for me to do was to paint the edges so that I don't splatter it on the other side. And so far, it's, it looks pretty smooth. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to get in anywhere it doesn't need to be. But I'm almost done with this. And then I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. And while that, I think I want to do maybe green. Yeah, maybe green. I'm back. And now I just went to eat. I touched up the side, so I didn't need to paint over it. But... I used the pencil and I didn't use the lead though, but I used like the tiny little tip and I just touched up the edges. Um, I just touched up the sides of both of them. They seem about dry. I don't know if I should go in with another coat, but I'll leave it for now. And I think I'm going to work towards this part, which is going to be the lighter part. So let's get it. Okay, I finished with this part. As you can see, I just colored that in. Um, I might go with a second coat because it's kind of, you know, a little bit scattered all over the place. So I think I'm going to do a second coat of that. And then after, I might do these under, like right here. Might color that a color. And after that, I might be done. And then I'll go ahead and put on the Mod Podge. I might put like a few coats because you want this to be glossy. So we're going to put that and then... We're all good to go. Anaya's, hers is completely dry. She still has to do her other shoe, but it's completely dry, as you can see. It looks so good. Oh, look at little Psyche. Um, so, yeah. And then needs to touch up the edges, but other than that, we're good to go. Okay, now that I put my second coat, um, it's looking quite fabulous. And guess who's back? Me! Um, she's doing hers right now. I think mine's all dry. So I'm adding my second coat. Oh yeah, she's adding her second coat. She just finished doing this part that I just finished doing. Yeah, I had light pink. It doesn't look that good right now, but we're gonna fix it up. It's gonna look good. <laughs> I just thought of this, but I'm going to write Psyche K, just like, but it's gonna be separate. It's like Psyche on the back right here. And then for the other shoes, gonna be K. The same color I did, so probably that color. Cause I mixed that with this and then- Did you say blue? Shade. No, the hot pink. Okay, oh, so if you're doing hot pink, I'm gonna do like- But it's not blue. Hot pink, hot pink. Alana's shoe is almost, almost, almost done. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just need the Mod Podge. It's drying. And um, she has Psyche and then the K here. And it's pink. It came out, like, literally perfect. And as for mine, it's been a lot different. We had to change the color so many times. Ugh, it was, like It just didn't go, like, with the blue and the pink and, like, all that stuff. The shade yeah. and the coloring. They just didn't mix quite good. So we had to change this color and then we had to figure out if this should be lighter or darker or it should stay the same for the other shoe. So right now I'm fixing it on this side and I'm trying to make it as identical as possible. But we're trying to make it a cuter color because before mm -hmm. it was darker. Yeah, this is taking us forever. We're going to get it done today though. But um, by tomorrow, we're going to have it like even better than today though. Okay, so while Anaya is fixing up her shoe, I am going to start putting Mod Podge on my Psyche shoe. I am not 100% sure how much Mod Podge I'm going to need, but I know that I need a lot of coats of it. So I'm kind of scared. I think you're supposed to have it like this, even though it's on white. 
it's originally gonna dry out and it's gonna make it glossy. I put some Mod Podge all over. So I'm not 100% sure how much I was supposed to put, but I think I put enough for the first coat and for it to dry. It's just psyche. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just hope that dries well and good. I'm gonna do the other shoe right now. I finished with my second shoe putting on the it Mod Podge. It looks so glowy already. Yes, it looks glowy. Our shoes aren't the best. I still have one that's drying, but for now, um, we're gonna go and put Mod Podge on mine. We're not professionals or anything. Mm -hmm. But this is just purely for fun, so that's all. We entertainment, self-entertainment. That took quite some time. We have the Mod Podge here, and she's gonna use it. Um, I learned my lesson. Well, it's not that it's bad or anything. So she's starting. We finished Mod Podging the first and the second shoe, except for the back because I needed to put more coats on it to make it thicker for the paint and everything. Yeah. But we're gonna do that tomorrow. And I completely finished my Psyche shoe. Um, it looks amazing. It's completely dry. I think I've seen some videos where whenever they were walking, kind of creased a little. So might be best to have that, you know, don't you have that creasing shoe? Yeah, yeah I do. To stop it from creasing. So most likely you'd need for that so it doesn't crease. But other than that, here are my Psyche shoes. We have his little antennas. And we have Psyche K on the back. One says Psyche, one says K. And here's what it looks like in the front. And then for the sides, it's two different colors of turquoise. And then the other side's the same thing with the antennas. So that's my shoe. For mine, the color came out a little bit weird, but this is the front. <laughs> It is pink and green. For Psyche, his colors are blue, pink, and green. So yeah, that's why I did that. And on the other side, we have the coffee jelly <laughs> with some hearts on yes. it. Yes. Because there was like a lot of space in between. And that's the back. It's it's Psyche. Psyche. And of course, the other one says K. And if you're wondering why, I think I've said it before, but if you're wondering why she put coffee jelly, it's because he absolutely loves coffee jelly. Like, it's his favorite thing in the world. And yeah, that is our shoes. It's not perfect, but it's real good. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment down below and let us know. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to share to your friends or family. All right, see you guys later. Don't forget to stay happy.